Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss about one of the application of Compton scattering. Uh, the problem is that in the Compton scattering of X-rays with free electrons at rest, the Compton shift in wavelength is observed to be triple the wavelength of the incident photons and the photons scatter at 60 degree. Then calculate the wavelength of the incident photons and the energy given to the recoil electrons. So in this problem, it is given that the Compton shift in wavelength, usually we denote it by the letter delta lambda. Compton shift in wavelength delta lambda is 3 times the wavelength of the incident photons. Suppose incident photon wavelength is lambda, then delta lambda equal to 3 times lambda. Also it is given that photons scatter at an angle of 60 degree. That is the angle theta equal to 60, 60 degree. Now we have to calculate the wavelength of the incident photons that is lambda equal to what is and the energy given to the recoil electrons the energy lost by the photons actually it is the energy lost by the incident photons energy given to the incident photons that is uh, sorry energy given to the recoil electrons that is delta e equal to e minus a dash so first part uh, now we are going to solve the first part of the question um, we know that the expression for the Compton shift in wavelength delta lambda equal to h by m0 c into 1 minus cos theta where h is the Planck's constant and its value is 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second uh, the second variable m0 not variable constant m0 is the rest mass of electron and it is equal to 9.1 into 10 raised to minus 31 kg and the third one c is the speed of light and it is equal to 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second uh, theta is given as 60 degrees so cos theta is 1 by 2 so substituting h by m0 c into 1 minus 1 by 2 so it is equal to h by 2 m0 c so we have found that delta lambda delta lambda equal to h by 2 m0 c but delta lambda is this is equal to 3 lambda so 3 lambda equal to h by 2 m0 c equal that implies lambda in lambda that is the wavelength of incident light equal to h by 6 m0 c substituting 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 6 into 9.1 into 10 raised to minus 31 into c value of c 3 into 10 raised to 8 so substituting all these values we obtain lambda equal to lambda equal to uh, by calculating all these values we get lambda equal to 4.02 into 10 raised to minus 30 meter so first part of the question is solved now the second part is we have to calculate the energy of the recoil electrons so energy of the recoil electrons delta e that is that energy is equal to the energy lost by the incident photons so delta E equal to incident photon energy E minus scattered photon energy E dash. That is equal to incident photon energy is HC by lambda. Scattered photon energy is HC by lambda dash. Here lambda dash equal to 3 times lambda. So it is equal to HC by lambda minus HC by 3 lambda. So it is equal to it is equal to hc by lambda we can take common terms outside hc by lambda into 1 minus 1 by 3 and is equal to 2 by 3 hc by lambda in the previous section we have found the value of lambda as 4 into 4.02 into 10 raised to minus 13 meter so substituting we can substitute these values such as 6.62 6 into 10 raised to minus 34 C as 3 into 10 raised to 8 divided by, sorry, 2 by 3 is here into 
divided by lambda 4.02 into 10 raised to minus 30 meter. So substituting we obtain it is equal to 2.312. Into 10 raised to 6 electron volt. We obtain the result in electron volt that is equal to 2.312 mega electron volt. Here we obtain the result in electron volt just by substituting 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 90 dividing by electron charge. We obtain the result in electron volt. Otherwise, we will obtain an, a resulting joule. Uh, but for simplicity, usually we prefer to express energy values in electron volt, uh, in the units of electron volt or mega electron volt. So, I used, uh, I used the electron volt unit. So, uh, by just by dividing the expression by 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19, we obtain uh, energy in electron volt. So thank you for watching my video.